Now, I don't think there's a better way to start a review than with a launch control. Yo, it might be a baby AMG, but this thing still pulls. Damn. Okay, quick outfit change, and we're back in the review of the A35 sedan. So yes, you do know that I like Bunda. No, Bunda like sedan. I like space. I'm a practicality guy. So I'll always take a sedan, in my opinion, over the hot hatch. And also, it just looks different. And I think it's got a lot of curb appeal. You don't see a lot of them on the road. So you're going to stand out. And in this Patagonia red metallic, you're going to stand out even more. But if you want this color, it's going to cost you 17,000 Rand extra. And just like this one's big brother, the A45S, it is powered by a 2 liter turbocharged engine. But in this version, you're getting 225 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque. Now, those numbers do get bumped slightly up because you've got the EQ Boost um, system here, which is a very small mild hybrid system. So you've got the, the battery and motor setup that sits between. Um, the engine and the transmission and that's going to kick in to give you the extra boost when you put your foot down as well as just make the car run generally smoother um, and allow other operations within the car to work off of that battery so that it's not putting added or extra stress onto the engine. This is also the entry level into Mercedes-Benz AMG so this is currently the cheapest AMG that you can buy brand new from Mercedes-Benz and it's going to cost you just over 1.1 million rand. And taking a look at the prices of Mercedes-Benz and other cars in this category, I don't think that's too bad. Um, you're getting to drive a Mercedes-Benz, you're getting to drive an AMG Mercedes-Benz for just over 1.1 million. And if you had to look at the likes of competitors like a Golf R, which has got a very similar power to this, that's also priced at just on 1 million Rand. So for a premium over a VW, I don't think that's too bad for this car. But this does beg the question, should you get this A35 over the A45S? And I've been waiting to get behind the wheel of this to test it out so that I can get an opinion. And looking at the A45, 1.3 million Rand base price. It's ridiculously quick. It's aggressive in every aspect. It's boy racer from the ground up and yeah, I don't think you get to really, really experience that car's full potential all the time. You might be able to enjoy what it has to offer 40% of the time in driving it because you're driving it in town, suburban areas, that sort of thing. You're not on track where you really want to put that formatic system, all that power, the fancy differentials and everything to use. You can't do that. But looking at the A35, now that I've spent time with it, you're able to have a lot more fun with, yes, there's less power, but in your daily commute, in your daily driving, you're able to enjoy at least 80% of what the car has to offer during that time, which makes this a lot more fun to drive. So yes, I do think that I would probably take the A35 over the A45. Yeah, I said it, and I'm gonna save myself, I don't know, two, 200 300,000 rand that's a big chunk of change and you're getting pretty much a full AMG experience here now I say a full AMG experience here because you're getting the full AMG steering wheel you're getting the AMG sounds you're getting the AMG experience you're getting the AMG badges um, and looking at the outside of this car it's also aggressive as anything and because of the new facelift you're getting the new AMG grill up front too so you're not getting those <laughs> you're not getting those horizontal lines, but you're now getting those vertical lines that bring it into the AMG family. But also AMG, you get drive modes like this where you can do launch controls. <laughs> and there we go, 60 Ks an hour, and you're having fun. Woohoo! Oh, now I've had the opportunity to go through the full A-Class range. I've been in the A200, the A45, and I'll link both of those reviews down below in the description, and you can have a look at them. Uh, from an interior point of view, 
you can see what they've both got to offer. They're very similar inside. They've got slight tweaks to the dashboard in terms of their design, their styling, um, but the layout's pretty, this, pretty much the same. Um, they've both got the same uh, infotainment systems, the two 10.12 inch displays here. And because the A200 was in the AMG line, you also had the same AMG steering wheel, except you didn't have the drive mode selectors and all that stuff. But yeah, please go check those out. I did a full in-depth review on those interiors. I'm not gonna do it again here because I think I might bore you. But yeah, if you are looking at getting yourself an A-Class, an A45, an A35, then please go check one out on changecars.co.za. They're a website that sells new and used cars. And the benefit of using them is that they're approved by Discovery and they're approved by automotive manufacturers as well. They also check, inspect, vet all the dealers that sell cars on their websites so they weed out all the bad dealers and they only approve the guys that are going to give you the best service um, they are also for like five star quality guaranteed so you know that the service you're going to get from them is great and the product you're going to get at the end of the day is going to be of good quality and you won't regret it so go check out changecars.ca.za they're also a proud partner of greg dennis reviews Okay, let's have some more fun and open up this exhaust chair. <laughs> and something to note on that exhaust, as I might say now as I hear that. Um, I'm not too sure how loud it is from the outside, um, but I can definitely hear that there is sounds being pumped into the cabin. And obviously that's to add to the AMG experience because now of emissions, smaller engines, smaller sizes, smaller sounds, everything like that. So. They're trying to make up for it. Um, I don't hate it because, again, it adds to the experience and it's a really cool sound. It doesn't sound too daft, but the pops and bangs aren't as loud as the A45, but I do find that on the overrun or at changing gears, you do get the really nice pops that are a little bit crisper than the A45, I've noticed. And the induction sounds from the front, oh, they're so nice. And you can hear the turbo spooling. You can... And from that aspect, it sounds a little bit nicer than the 45, um, but in all other aspects, the 45 is just far superior. <clears throat> oh my gosh, the A45 is just far superior. But as the overall daily driver option between the two, you're gonna have a lot of fun in this car. And then main differences from the exterior, as I've mentioned, you do get the, the revised and the new AMG grille so that it matches up to the rest of the AMG family. Um, but then also from the outside, because this has got the, the aerodynamic pack added to it, you do have the canards on the side, but what's different to those to the A45 is you're only getting like one on each side as opposed to two. And then from the rear, you aren't getting the huge manic um, spoiler that you do get on the 45. Obviously, this is the sedan, so you don't have that, but you do have a nice little lip on the boot. And you do not have the, the twin exhaust pipes on each side. You've only got one on each side, which I still feel looks really, really cool. And with the big diffuser at the back there, integrated with the exhausts, it's a seriously good looking car. Okay, I've got the window open now. So you can hear the exhaust isn't really popping, but it's just like making audio vibration, little burps inside here. So it adds to your AMG experience, but it's definitely quite synthetic audio in here. And then looking at some similarities from a performance point of view with the A45, uh, this A35 does come with that same AMG speed shift, eight speed dual clutch transmission. How's that for a mouthful? And yeah, geez, man, this, this transmission is incredible. Like it shifts like this, it downshifts like this, it, there's no hesitation. And if people ever had to complain about turbo lag in an A-Class or an A45 AMG or A35, I think they're wrong because the way that this EcoBoost, oh, EcoBoost, <laughs> the way that this EQ EcoBoost um, system works here is that it provides you that battery power to fill in the gap. So when you put your foot down, the car goes. There's not that much hesitation in the car thinking about what you need to do. I mean, it changes gears and you're off. 
So I don't really have too much to complain about that. And then you also have the formatic system, so you do have the four-wheel drive. So you're putting all of that power through the wheels, you're getting great traction. It just makes the overall drive really awesome. But if it was something I do have to complain about this car, um, within the cabin you are getting this weird, and it's like at a weird audio level of a vibration through the cabin. Not weird things vibrating in here, but it's almost like the tires are creating a vibration through the car and it's definitely something that you can hear throughout. It's at, a, it's at a very low audio level, but you can hear it humming in the background. And I've noticed it in the A45 too, but more prominence here in the A35. And while I'm moving my hands around here, I can see the car telling me about gestures. So there you go. A cool feature in these cars is you've got gesture control. So I don't even think I need to do the GDR test, um, but for habit's sake, I'm gonna do it for you. So should you get the car, should you drive the car, or should you remove it from the cars that you're looking at? Now, obviously, I would say go and get the car. Um, I think I've preached enough about it. It's a great car, it's a great all-rounder. It's got awesome performance, it sounds good, it looks good, it feels good, it drives well. Jeez, go and get the A35 if you're in the market for something like this that's a little bit different to a hatch. So thanks for watching this drive around in the new A35 AMG sedan. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit more about the A35. I know it's a little bit shorter, but I'm not gonna bore you with the same A-class specifications and features and things like that. If you wanna see more about them, go check the links down in the description. But yeah, if you wanna see more car reviews like this, then please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this, please really drop a like below. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Hey, look, there's a Bajaj. You can't see it, but it's those little yellow things that drive around. And I'm starting a new game. It's called Punch Bajaji. So get on with me. It's like Punch Buggy, but you punch the person in the car when you see one of them. It might be a baby AMG, but this thing still